Well, it's been a uh, long time since I've used this camera. This is actually my uh, flip. Um, so that's why I won't be able to get and focus on stuff like that. But uh, that is the new uh, control board for my quadcopter. Um, I switched to a uh, X-Mega 32A4 instead of the uh, A3 because it's smaller and I didn't need all the other pins on the uh, A A3. Um, I also switched to a uh, ITG 3200 right there and a ADXL 345 for the uh, measurements. Um, this one just has a regular uh, 1117 uh, low dropout regulator on it because I was having issues with the boost converter on the other version. Uh, this one also has UP, uh, USB and there's a FTDI adapter hiding under there in the shadow. Uh, you can see I have the uh, motors hooked up right now, and that is because I got the uh, um, interrupts set up for the uh, PWM generation for the uh, motors. And I just have them hard-coded right now to produce a uh, 1 millisecond pulse every 20 milliseconds, uh, which is corresponds to a, uh, um, I guess, minimum. Um, and then I took the receiver out of its case to make it smaller, took the pins off. Also, I got some carbon fiber here. And I'm gonna play around with this. If you haven't ever seen carbon fiber like I have, like I, I mean, I haven't ever seen it before. It's really cool looking, and it's as strong as you'd think it is. It's, it's, it's crazy, and it sounds like metal if you hit it on something. Almost, Not like glass, but. Uh, since my battery's about to die, I figured I should probably plug this in here. Uh... So all the motors should be armed now. Um, you can see it's drawing 120 milliamps right now because of all the motor controllers. But So there we go. Now I got to uh, get measurements from the accelerometer and gyroscope and read the RC receiver and combine those and I should have a working quadcopter.